The Chicago parks have an amazing collection of buildings. They include some of the world's first field houses. The field house was a building type that never existed until there was this whole new park movement in Chicago at the turn of the century where as hundreds of thousands of immigrants were settling in Chicago, there was a concern that the needs of these very congested neighborhoods weren't being met by the existing parks, which were a little bit far away. And so as they began trying to develop a whole new type of park for you know, these types of neighborhoods, they came up with the idea of a building that would combine all kinds of uses in one structure. They offered public bathing, they had club rooms, you could take all kinds of classes, English lessons, vocational training, doctors and nurses would come and do immunizations. And so essentially all of your needs, except for housing, were met by your park and especially because of these new buildings. They were so important and so immediately popular that Teddy Roosevelt, then president, asked people uh, from different municipalities throughout the country to come to Chicago to see these parks, which he described as the most notable civic achievement in any American city. By the 1920s, it was part of the Chicago psyche that every good neighborhood must have a park and every good neighborhood park must have a field house. So often, I can't tell you the number of times where people have told me how these places influenced the way that they, their lives kind of evolved and who they became and maybe their profession or some of them met their spouses. It's a little different today, but they are still extremely vibrant, active places for Chicagoans.